Hi everyone. Welcome to EduConHUB.com. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a core banking system that plays a significant role in financial institutions worldwide, Timinos Transact, commonly known as T24. Whether you're new to the world of core banking or looking to expand your knowledge, this session is tailored just for you. We'll keep things straightforward and practical. No need for complex theories. So let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of T24. Our agenda for today includes the following topics. The first topic is core banking introduction. We'll start by understanding the fundamental concepts of core banking systems. What are they and why are they crucial for financial institutions? The second topic is Tim Eno's Transact, normally called T24. We'll explore T24, a widely used core banking system. Often referred to simply as T24, it powers various banking operations globally. The third topic is T24 modules on T24. Within T24, there are specific modules that handle different aspects of banking functionality. We'll dive into these modules and understand their roles. The next topic is T24 basic concepts. Let's cover essential T24 concepts, such as accounts, transactions, customer data, and security. These form the building blocks of T24 operations. Then we will demonstrate some functions on T24 system. Now comes the exciting part. We'll showcase some practical functions within the T24 system. From account creation to transaction processing, we'll demonstrate how T24 works. The next topic is close a business or COB. COB is a critical daily process in banking. We'll discuss what it entails, how it impacts account balances, and its significance for accurate financial reporting. The last topic is development on T24. Finally, we'll explore the world of T24 development. How can banks extend T24's capabilities? What coding practices enhance its flexibility? Jump to the first topic core, banking introduction. I assume that you all know what is a bank, at least you are a customer of a bank. So what is a bank? Let me give you a definition from Wikipedia. A bank is a financial institution where customers can save or borrow money. Banks also invest money to build up their reserve of money. What they do is regulated by laws. Those laws differ in different countries. The people who work at a bank are called bank employees. Certain banks deal directly with the public and are the only ones that a regular person will work with. Other banks deal with investments and international currency trading. What do you think? It's quite complicated and difficult to remember, right? So let's forget all the official theories for now. Simply put, a bank is an organization that conducts money business and provides money-related services. The bank offers several common services, such as CASA for account provision, term deposits for money saving, loans for housing, car purchases, etc., payment services for money transfers between accounts within the same bank or different banks, and many other types of services for individual and corporate customers. What is a core banking system? Simply, core banking is a central software system that meets the bank's basic business operations, especially accounting. On the left is some traditional platforms of core banking as Tim Enos Transact, Oracle FlexCube, Finastra, FIS, Fiserv, TCS, SAP, Infosys, Finacle. On the right is some new generation platforms of core banking as 10X, Thought Machine, Finxact from Fiserv, Mambu, Sunline. Although not officially categorized, we can conceptualize core banking systems into four generations as follows. The first two generations are very old-fashioned. The first generation, 1960 to 1985, focused on transaction processing with monolithic architecture, typically running on mainframe systems. The second generation, 1985 to 2005, focused on product-centric services with siloed architecture, continuing to run on mainframe systems. The next two generations are currently popular. The third generation, 2005 to 2020, very popular nowadays, characterized by modular architecture. These systems run on both mid-range slash mainframe systems or are modernized on the cloud. 
the fourth generation 2020 to present in near future the newest generation, featuring microservices architecture and running on cloud-native platforms. The fifth generation future not yet available, but we will see what innovations define the fifth generation of core banking in the future.